Hey, um, today I'm going to read to you all, actually, from a book I found in my books while I was cleaning. Um, I was reading the first poem out of it. The book is called Katharina, and the book is, this, as you can tell, is really old. It's 1881 that this book was um, published. Um, and I had originally found this in my mom's uh garage and she was just gonna throw it away so I took it um Katharina by J.G. Holland and so I'm gonna read the first poem out of it which is the whole thing is a poem but it's in sections so I'm gonna read the first section which um Katharina a poem by J.G. Holland and I'm going to read from the beginning called A Tribute. So here we go. A Tribute. More human, more divine than we. In truth, half human, half divine. Is woman when good stars agree to temper with their beams benign the hour of her nativity. The fairest flower the green earth bears, bright with the dew and light of heaven, is of the double life she wears, the type and grace and glory given by soil and sun in equal shares. True sister of the son of man, true sister of the son of God, what marvel that she leads the van of those who in the path he trod still bear the cross and wear the ban. If God be in the sky and sea and live in light and ride the storm, the God is God, although he be enshrined within a woman's form and claims glad reverence from me. So as I worship him in Christ and in the forms of earth and air, I worship him in paradise enthroned within her bosom fair. Whom vanity hath not enticed. O oh, woman mother, woman wife, the sweetest names the language knows. Thy breasts with holy motives rife, with holiest affection grows. Thon queen, thou angel of my life, noble and fine in his degree, is the best man my heart receives, and this my heart's supremest plea, for him he feels, acts, lives, believes, and seems, and is the likest thee. O men, O brothers, well, I know that with her nature in our souls is born the elemental woe, the brutal impulse that controls and dries or drags the godlike low, ambition, appetite, and pride. These throng and thrall the hearts of men. These plait the thorns and pierce the side of him who in our souls again is, split, is spit upon and crucified. The greed for gain, the thirst for power, the lust that blanket that blackens while it burns. Ah, these the whitest souls deflower, and one for all of these by turns, rob man of his divinest dower. Yet man who shivers like a straw before temptation's lightest breeze assumes the master gives the law to her who, on her bended knee, resists the angel, the black-winged thundered flaw. To him who deems her weak and vain and boasts his own exceeding might, she clings through darkest fortune fain, still loyal though the ruffians might. Still truth, though crime his hands disdain, and is this weakness, is it not the strength of God that loves and bears, though he be slighted or forgot in damning crimes or driven cares and closest clings? In darkest lot, not many friends my life has made. Few have I loved and few are they who in my hand their hearts have laid and these were women. I am gray, but never have I been betrayed. These words, this tribute for the sake of truth to God and womankind. These that my heart may cease to ache with love and gratitude confined and burning from my lips to break these to that sisterhood of grace that numbers in its sacred list 
My mother risen to her place, my wife, but yester morning kissed. And folded in love's last embrace, this tribute of a love profound, as ever moved the heart of man to those to whom my love is bound, to her in whom my life began, and her whose love my life hath crowned. Immortal love, thou still hast wings to lift me to those radiant fields where music waits with trembling strings and verse her happy numbers yields. And all the soul within me sings. So from the lovely pagan dream, I call no more the tuneful nine, for woman is my muse supreme. And she with fire and flight divine shall light and lead me to my theme. And that's that. That's the end of that. And I think um, I'll probably read the next part to you all after I read it to myself. It's really good poetry. Um, obviously, very religious written poetry. But, you know, 1880s, you can't be surprised. Um, I mean, even today, there's a large religious sect of people. So, and it's really good. And it's um, yeah, obviously a lot of feeling. I liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing it, and I hope um, I'll be seeing you later after I've posted some videos of the rest of my cooking, which um, by the time you, you see this video, I've already posted it, and I will be recording my vlog with my family that we missed last week because of Halloween. Um, so there's that. Raven out.